creativity is an addiction. When you look at it that way and you study it and you make friends with it and you learn to listen to it, you find out that you can reach even further because of that understanding and that relationship. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I am a stream thinker. I believe in the power of now. But how do you develop this sort of writing and and or conversation? Well, it's an exercise that I do every day. One page, 10 minutes to write. Absolutely no editing whatsoever. Keep that perfectionist at bay. And it gives you plenty of time to talk about it in the end because you're learning how to trust freeform writing because the best decisions that you're going to make are going to be right now. You've got to learn to own your own leadership. This is the power of now stream thinking. Today we're reading from April 10th, 2022. So where do you, where do you get your God? The Charlotte Observer has printed a huge story on this Palm Sunday about how millennials aren't going to the strict structured churches, but rather the places of spirituality where they kind of fit in, which might be the reason why I prefer my spiritual studies to be like right here in my own living room. God is in my home. I can see my forest. I hear my birds softly singing and my dog Jazzy is nearby. But I've always been questioned by this decision by many Christians. And the reason why is because they see the church as a community. Being with people serves the higher power. Now, in my heart, I know I need my full focus on receiving. My community is working in a grocery store. Although I don't bring up Jesus, it's still how I wear his name on the outside that serves as the greater purpose. Making yourself available to the people. That's the community. There's still things that happen in the South. The traditions of this is the way that it is. This is the way that it has to be played out. This is how you're going to execute it. And when you don't fit into that realm, well, you're going to get questioned. And, and I think that's what this article is about in the Charlotte Observer, is that a lot of people haven't turned their back on spirituality and or religion. They just don't want to have to live up to this particular image. Now, the church that I attend, it is a modern day church where your hair has to look one way. The pants that you wear have holes in them and your shirt looks like it's been worn 12 days in a row. And, 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 and that's one of those moments where, you know, the clothing that you wear helps you fit in. I, I don't fit in. And the reason why I don't fit in is because I've got hair to the middle of my back. Uh, I do like to wear clothes that do not have holes in the knees and, and I want my tennis shoes to fit my feet. And, and so, so that sounds a, you know, a little personal, right? That sounds like, well, gosh, you're, you're a little bit too much into it. No, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's not that I'm being selfish. It's just that I don't want to have to look like that in order to fit in where you fit in is the message and how you activate the message out here beyond the four walls of the church. I don't want to have to look a certain way for people to accept me for who I am. This is the way that it is. So being at home with my studies allows me to be in a place where there aren't cameras flying all over the place, where I can just sit there and put focus on what is being shared. But the question for you, though, is how do you fit in? And is that a part of your process of acceptance? Does it even matter? Now, my mom and dad would say, well, doesn't matter. Just go be you. But that's not the way that you feel when you step into an environment that looks more candy coated than real. It's not who I am. I'm Arrow, and that's Stream Thinking.